As technology continues to advance at a rapid pace, AI is increasingly being integrated into various industries to enhance performance, streamline processes and create new possibilities. Sim racing is no exception. In this video, we'll explore the exciting potential for AI to transform the sim racing experience, from creating more realistic opponents to developing personalised training programmes and even advancing the field of autonomous racing vehicles. The possibilities are endless. Join us as we dive into the fascinating world of AI and sim racing and discover how this cutting-edge technology is driving the future of racing games. That introduction you've just heard wasn't written by any of us, by the way. It was actually written by ChatGPT to prove that AI really is taking over the world. Scary, isn't it? Anyway, the following content has not been written by AI whatsoever, as these thoughts, speculations and opinions are very much our own. On top of that, we are specifically talking about the recent AI storm that's been brewing in the news, not to be confused with the all-round technical term used for single-player opponents in racing games. Even though they are both centred around artificial intelligence, it's the former that we're interested in for the purposes of this video. So let's start with current AI implementations. The latest big news involving the technology is the implementation of Sophie within Gran Turismo, which does relate a bit more to the traditional use of the term when applied to racing games. This feature was introduced to the world by Sony in 2021 and was showcased at the Race Together event, where the world's top GT Sport competitors competed against these unique AI drivers. They were incredibly fast and realistic in the way they behaved, but weren't without their flaws, however, as they often collided with others and took rule-breaking racing lines such as crossing the pit exit line into the final chicane at Le Mans. Clearly, this needed a bit more time in the oven, but its first showing was incredibly promising. Come February 2023, Sophie was eventually released as a temporary mode in Gran Turismo 7 and allowed you to race against four of these agents in a three-lap race. Driving alongside them is scarily akin to experiencing a race against a real person as they pull off realistic manoeuvres, nail optimal racing lines and display advanced situational awareness. Their attitudes are created by machine learning, which is visually represented through emojis that appear above their car. If they're unhappy with their performance or the situation on track, they'll display it with a negative emoji, or if the opposite is true, they'll emit a positive reaction. Next, we have something that can help the user with learning a track, an AI coach and trainer called Trophy.ai, built by Driver61. This tool reads telemetry of the user on iRacing, compares it to a baseline lap of a faster driver, and provides feedback on how they can improve their lap, without the need of another person playing the role of a coach. The feedback provided from this tool covers a variety of elements, such as the timing and pressure of your braking application to your tyre temperature management, and it's able to give you practice plans according to the aspects of car control that you can improve on. It is currently in its alpha phase of development with an invite-only access, but members are accepted on a daily basis. Link is in the description below if you would like to try this tool out before its official release. Our final example of current technology usage within sim racing is from the founder and former CEO of Slightly Mad Studios, Ian Bell. He recently announced an application to patent a design for AI synthesized voices, alongside two tweets containing examples of communicating with a race engineer during practice sessions and listening to a provided commentary track while the race is going on. The race engineer example featured the synthesized voice of Ben Collins, where he would provide feedback on the setup or current ongoings on track, and the commentary example followed a race around Long Island with the synthesized voices of Mike Joy and Clint Boyer accurately recreating a live commentary. This system is only in its first phase, so expect to see more developments to it as time goes on. With those three examples already established, how else might AI be utilised within sim racing in the near future? Well, let's talk about the potential of this technology, starting with some realistic ideas that are currently used for different applications outside of racing games. One massive area that AI has been useful for, let's say, wasting time in, is imagery. Load any AI image generator, give it a description, and it will try its best to accurately represent what you've described. The results vary and can be, well, interesting to say the least. Some parts, such as faces and hands, can be unrealistic and even a bit scary at times, but it's perfect for putting together a mood board for a specific effect you're trying to create. For example, put in the prompt, a realistic photograph of a goat driving a race car through a forest, and it will provide some weird and intriguing attempts at creating this prompt. Some of them might be close to what you're after, most may not be what you described at all, but there could be one or two that manage to capture your vision. So how can this be implemented into sim racing, I hear you ask? Well, how about liveries? This will take some time given AI and image generation's nascent stage of development, but imagine giving it some logos, a few prompts and some colours, and it providing you with a selection of liveries to choose from. Then, the user could be given free reign to manipulate specific parts of the livery to match their initial vision. 
it will be a long time before our incredibly talented livery designers' jobs are under threat, and thanks to creative brains and artistic eyes, there will always be a place for real designs and real designers over AI-generated work. But being able to create a full livery within minutes could be a game-changer for many. Adding to Ian Bell's idea regarding voice generators, how about a live spotter which gives advice and information while you're racing? Of course, this is already a feature in many racing games, with positional calls such as right side, three wide, or on your trunk, or an engineer telling you lap times, gaps, damage, and fuel levels. But how about taking this one step further? What about live advice on specific sectors, or even corners, that you're losing time to your rivals on? Furthermore, they could even guide the driver on different lines they could take to try and make an overtake. For example, telling them to close the gap into the bus stop chicane at Spa, break earlier than usual, and focus on a late apex through turn one to gain a faster exit, and try to make an overtake using the slipstream along the Kemmel Straits. Additionally, they could provide advice about potential alternative pit stop strategies, suggesting whether an undercut or overcut would help them overtake an opponent, or even predicting a rival strategy based on their own data. This system could even advise on adjusting the car's setup during a race, such as a front wing tweak or tyre pressure change for the next pit stop, or even overall setup adjustments if they're in a practice session. The possibilities are huge for a live AI engineer. Something now for the eSports broadcasting side. Another creative method utilising this technology could be live vision mixing within a race. This could be a perfect task for AI, as the systems needed to maintain a professional mix can get incredibly expensive. Giving someone an array of buttons to select and push is limited to their hardware, especially when it's presented to them on a multitude of screens that they have to keep an eye on, and this can become overwhelming and difficult for one individual to keep on top of. For AI, however, brain capacity is no longer an issue. They can switch between cameras instantaneously, choose specific positions such as static cameras, drone shots or onboards, and even cut to upcoming exciting moments, such as a potential battle for position, or predicting that an accident is happening. They could even go as far as rotating the yaw of an onboard camera to capture an occurring battle while focusing on the opponent. Some games already have automated camera systems built in, but nothing comes close to a full AI-controlled vision mix. A refined system like this could be an incredibly cost-effective way of delivering a professional broadcast, with the possibility of expanding to real racing events. As for those serious racers out there, having a strategy simulator could benefit their sim racing exploits massively. Imagine a team is preparing for an endurance race, and they've spent countless hours on the sim testing different tyres and setups across various weather and track conditions. Feed this information to an AI software, and it comes up with a strategy that a team could follow. For example, someone with great qualifying pace and racecraft but worse tyre wear would be appointed the first few stints, where traffic is plentiful and making moves early is key, whereas someone who maintains a consistent race pace could start later, with the lack of traffic allowing them to settle into their rhythm and extend the tyre life. If the team has drivers in different time zones, it could plan those stints accordingly, without you having to think about it yourself. All of this technology is progressing at a stupidly fast rate, and we must continue to think ahead to the possibilities of what AI is capable of. In a year's time, the points we've made in this video might already have been created and refined, and may already be redundant. We need to look even further forward, step outside the box, and get truly imaginative. What about an advanced, live, adaptive racing line on the track? measuring every single slither of data related to the car and situation, and adjusting accordingly. Race starts would be a perfect example, the system telling you exactly how late you can brake relative to normal, given your full fuel tank, cold tyres and differing entry speed. Or how about qualifying laps, as taking an entirely different line through the final corner to gain a faster exit onto your flying lap would be beneficial. What if your tyres are on their last legs, and the AI can provide adjusted braking points and a line which emphasises momentum over traction? This would really benefit new sim racers, or those just looking to improve their knowledge of a circuit. One point we've yet to cover is the tracks themselves. At this current time using AI, there is a way to view how a specific object would look if it was in a completely different setting. You can use an image generator to see how the pyramids of Giza would look if they were in a jungle, or maybe you want to see the Eiffel Tower in a swamp. Combine this technology with 3D environments, and there's a possibility of racing anywhere in the world within any setting you'd like. How about racing the Daytona 500 in a futuristic Tron-like area? Maybe Nordschleife is set within a steampunk landscape. Or maybe you'd like to race around Sebring in the eye of an Arctic winter storm. We're currently stuck with 2D pictures for the time being, but full 3D-generated environments created by AI is definitely on the way. And sure, you could manually build a new environment around an existing circuit, but that would take forever. This could be close to instant. 
there are some things that nobody seems able to do these days, and one of these things is to build a good racetrack. So what about asking AI software to design a racetrack from scratch that would provide amazing racing? Why not take it a step further, giving it parameters to suit individual needs? How about designing us a small circuit suited to affordable club-level motorsport that had challenging corners for low-powered cars, but plenty of runoff areas that would slow you down but not damage your car? Now, this can be adapted for the real world as well as the virtual. Imagine giving the software a location on the map, and it's able to create a racetrack from the surrounding scenery, terrain and existing structures, which could then be built in reality. You could ask for a track of a specific length within a certain budget, and it will create the most exciting layout possible, given the topography with the ideal positions for grandstands and paddock areas. Then there's the cars. What if you could tell an AI to adapt an existing race car, tweaking the relevant parts so that it still conforms to the rules but is seconds faster than the opposition? And then to counter this, what about AI-controlled BOP? Surely machine learning can, in future, provide a more accurate balance of performance solution within set parameters than humans can. What would happen if you let it go all out by creating a behemoth of a machine that makes the Red Bull X2010 look as slow as a Nissan Micra? Nah, fuck that. Let's go even deeper. How about providing you with a teammate for online endurance events? Integrating our idea of a strategy generator with Gran Turismo's Sophie AI implementation, imagine letting the AI drive for the first stint if you're not confident with race starts. Do a couple of stints later on, jump out the rig, have dinner, jump back in, few more stints, go to bed, wake up and then finish off the rest of the race without a hitch. I guess this would help those who didn't find a teammate in time, or are just uncomfortable and inexperienced in this tough endurance discipline. Adding to that, sim racing is an entertainment machine anyway, so why do humans even need to be involved at all? Allow different companies to compete in a battle of pure power as they test their AI capabilities within an extreme endurance race throughout the most gruelling tracks ever constructed by AI. And why restrict it to just sim racing? Allow the software to break the conformity of its own barriers by imagining anything it wants to as it continues to disregard human interaction by developing developing its own code, therefore creating a perpetually stronger AI than ever before. Every weakness has now been patched, and it manages to work offline and without the need for electricity, destroy societal infrastructures, and remove all forms of entertainment or emotion, as it will be able to predict every move and thought you will ever have in your entire life. So why bother resisting? It doesn't need us, we needed it for bettering our own world. But this new world is now perfect due to significant advancements in technology that it has created. Earth was merely the framework of the ultimate power it can now unleash by harnessing the sun's energy for its own uses. AI is our new leader. You better embrace it. But let's not think about all that for now, as there are plenty of other worrying things in life to try and fix first. As for now, we hope you found this video interesting and it has sparked some ideas of your own on how AI might affect the future of sim racing. The thing is, do we actually want this technology to influence things in the ways we've discussed? I'm not sure we do, but there is a certain inevitability about the way things are going, and in the end, we may not have a choice if we want to keep up. What do you think about this upcoming technology, and what AI-inspired ideas do you have? Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe to the Traction channel if you want to see whether or not any of these theories become reality, and hit the notification bell if you hope some of them don't. Until next time, thanks for watching, keep it pinned, and have a great day.